Kevin Hart is facing an alleged extortion attempt, which prompted the actor to issue an apology on social media to both his wife and children. Kevin Hart has allegedly become the victim in an extortion attempt. Law enforcement told TMZ that an anonymous person contacted Kevin's team and provided the video showing Kevin and a woman in a sexually provocative situation in a club and the bedroom. The person demanded a multi-million dollar amount in return. This led Hart to release an emotional apology on Instagram. I'm at a place in my life where I feel like I have a target on my back and because of that, I should make smart decisions. And recently, I didn't. Um, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm not gonna sit up here and say that I am or, or claim to be in any way, shape, or form. And I made a bad error in judgment and put myself in an environment where only bad things can happen, and they did. And in doing that, I know that I'm gonna hurt the people closest to me, who I've talked to and apologized to, being my wife and my kids. Um, and I just, you know, it's, it's a shitty moment. It's a shitty moment when you, when you know you're wrong and there's no excuses for your wrong behavior. Um, at the end of the day, man, I just simply got to do better. But I'm not going to also allow a person to, to have financial gain off of my mistakes. And in this particular situation, that's what was attempted. I said I'd rather fess up to my mistakes. Later in the week, it was revealed the woman at the center of the video is actress and model Montia Sabog, who in a press conference with her lawyer, Lisa Bloom, stated that she isn't the extortionist. I was involved with Kevin Hart a month ago. Since then, my pictures and my name have been released with lies written about me. I'm not an extortionist. I'm not a stripper. I'm a recording artist and an actress, and I've not broken any laws. I had nothing to do with these recordings. I'm truly sorry for any involvement that I had in this. And joining us now is attorney Lisa Bloom, who is representing Montia Sabag. And, and let me just say, Lisa, that this case is just really sad on many levels. We, we don't need to dive into that just yet, but what is the latest, because you're representing Montia. Yes. And I know initially a lot of people were accusing her of being the extortionist, but that's not the case. Yeah, those accusations are false. And we came out this week to say that she is a victim uh, she has apologized for the choice that she made to be in the hotel room with Kevin Hart to begin with, but it was a crime for someone to sneak a camera into that room. It was a crime to surreptitiously record them. It was a crime to post those pictures on the internet. She is a crime victim, and so we are going to law enforcement to report this crime and to fully cooperate. So, Lisa, you're saying nobody is extorting? My client is not the extortionist. According to Kevin Hart, somebody, somebody approached is. him for money. Oh. And so we have not been approached for money, but we believe that that's true. And we certainly can see from the videos, my client's in them. She was in intimate moments in a hotel room and she was being secretly recorded. Hey, so have you seen the videos? I've seen what's been posted online. There are snippets and it clearly is her in that hotel room. You know, this, this entire case is, is interesting to me because there's obviously the legal element and I, obviously, initially, when things came out, I'm sure your client was petrified. Yes. But really quickly, one, one of the things that, that I'm having an issue with is this is playing out so publicly. Um, mm -hmm. Even Kevin's apology, one of the comments was, because I have a target on my back, I need to make better decisions. Not and because I need to elevate my moral standards or, right. or stop putting cheating myself. on wives that are pregnant. Right, or, or his statement saying that he put himself in an environment. You know, I, I would like to see him not only not apologize publicly, because if they're going to have any chance of moving forward, whether it's him with his current partner or anybody else, it has to be done in private so that they actually have the thoughtfulness and not so much done for the public so that the public can see he is a good person. But when he said that he put himself in an environment, I had a problem with that because I don't feel like it's a real apology. It's sort of not taking ownership of the fact that he was action oriented well, Judy, in that particular I, 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 clearly the, the guy's got an issue with monogamy I, yes. I i i have serious doubts you're the expert not me that that he can deal with monogamy uh going forward so it sounds like he he needs either to not pretend that that lifestyle is right for him or he needs to get some help